All right, what's up, YouTube? This is uh, Hassani here, aka DJ Big Hoss. Uh, this is a tutorial on how to fix the problem that you're having with your Studio One remote. I want to show uh, you how to uh, fix that problem. And uh, I'm working with Windows. Uh, I don't do it on the Mac, so uh, just pay close attention and uh, let me help you resolve that problem. I know right now if you're opening up Studio One and you want to use the remote, you might be saying this problem right here. Um, it won't connect. Uh, it's saying it's not compatible with uh, this uh, version of Studio One that you're using. That's not the case. Um, I'm going to show you how to fix that because if you're using Studio One uh, 3 Professional, uh, I, I believe it starts with, uh, what is that? 9.2 or something like that or 3.2 I, I can't remember let's go to it mm -mm -mm. again uh, this is for Windows my bad uh, I'm gonna go to about yeah so if you're using 3.2.1 or whatever anything higher anything from 3.2 or whatever you should be able to re, you know connect with the remote the studio remote so i'm gonna show you guys how to do that um let me uh close this out all right this is windows again only uh if you're a mac user um i'm sure this might be the same process so uh i am a mac user but for i'm have i had the issue with my pc my Macs was okay with the remote so um i found a way to fix it so what I want you to do is journey over here to the Windows uh, logo and then right click and then go up to control panel uh, and then go to system and securities and then go to your Windows firewall and then go to advanced settings. All right, in van settings, you want to go to, uh, I believe it's inbound rules. Right here, if your Studio One is has a circle with an, you know, that's crossed out, a red circle that is, uh, just right uh, click on it and then go to properties and then allow connection. So this is, that means you was blocked. Let's see, it was on block the connection you want to allow the connection and just click apply and then say okay go to the next one if you have two of them there just same thing go to properties over here and then see how it says block the connection and then allow the connection and then click apply and then let's get out of here and then go back to studio one and then take a look at the remote. It's, you can either scan it or do a refresh or whatever. And then um, go ahead when it pops up, then click it. And voila, there it is. So I hope this tutorial helped you guys out. And um, you know, uh, if you have any, any more issues with it, it might be like an app problem or whatnot but uh this is how i solve my problem because i upgraded my hard drive and re put i put uh windows 10 professional on my uh laptop and um because it used to work for me and then when i came back to it it didn't work so i figured it out this way so i hope this helps if there's another way of doing it i mean you know please by all means you know do a video leave a link whatever and uh we'll see how that works but for now this is the way it, you know help me out so again i'm out i hope this helped you out and um take care peace